Hello, KW Miami. This is Ariel Hernandez, your tech director in the Market Center. In this video, we're going to see how we can add neighborhoods to a contact and then add that contact into a biweekly or monthly neighborhood nurture smart plan. However, before we can add anyone to any smart plans, we have to be able to add the smart plans from the library over to our smart plans folder. So I'm going to show you that first, then we're going to go over how we can go ahead and be able to add the neighborhoods into the contacts and then add the contact to the smart plan. So first we're going to come over here on the left hand side and click on smart plans. Then we're going to click over where it says library. Okay. Now the top smart plans here in the top says Keller Williams. These are the smart plans that Keller Williams International um, created for us and have shared with us. Below that, you have others. So we're looking for the bi-weekly neighborhood nurture and the monthly. So all you have to do to add it to your folder, to my smart plans, is click on add smart plan. Then you would you know, change the name or you keep it as my bi-weekly neighborhood nurture, right? And then you hit the download button. If it doesn't let you download, it's because you already have it in your My Smart Plans folder. So you can download that one and also download the monthly neighborhood nurture as well. Once they're downloaded, then you can come back to your My Smart Plans and you'll be able to see it then. My biweekly and my monthly, you'll be able to see it. Okay, great. So now we're going to go back to contacts. And we're going to choose one of the contacts. So I'm going to go over to my friend Mickey. Now, when you put the person's primary address, command is going to automatically grab the primary neighborhood of that specific address. However, if your client tells you, listen, I want to be able to buy and I'm interested in my neighborhood and surrounding neighborhoods or any other neighborhood, right? If they've given you the specific neighborhood they're interested in, you can click on add neighborhood and be able to type in the neighborhood. Or if they've given you, let's say an address, right? And say, hey, I really like this house. Here's the address. I like anything around that neighborhood, right? So let's say right now this one is in like by the little Havana area is this address here. But let's say they wanna to move to another county. They wanna to go to Broward. So we're gonna put find on map and we're just gonna put an address. Google Maps gives you um, a different options here based on what you typed in. And let's say they want to go to Davie. So it will automatically um, pinpoint the address. And now you can zoom in right into the address. Okay. And it tells you what the neighborhood is that belongs to that address. So this is West Davie. So I can click on that. And it gives you all these other neighboring neighborhoods right surrounding neighborhoods okay so let's say they're interested in this area and maybe these two other neighborhoods here as well okay so now we can go ahead and hit save and those neighborhoods let's go ahead and refresh here and those neighborhoods have been added to this specific contact okay now you have two links. You have your preview link and your copy link. Your copy link is basically um, the exact same thing as your preview, but you're sending it directly to the client. So let's click here on preview. It's going to show you a preview of how the page is going to look like, right? How does that neighborhood snapshot look like? So you have all the different neighborhoods up here. Okay. And then right now we're looking at Kapoka States. You have all of these active listings in that area. Okay, and they can click on neighborhood stats and be able to see the stats of that neighborhood. Okay, so now if you wanted to send this directly to them, you would just go back to contacts, click here, copy link, and now you can email it to them or text it to them directly so they can see it. If you want this page to go out bi weekly or monthly out to your clients, on all the active listings and neighborhood stats, that's when you add them into a bi-weekly or monthly neighborhood um, nurture plan. 
So to add them, I'm just going to come over to Smart Plans, add to Smart Plan, and I'm going to go ahead and search for my biweekly or monthly neighborhood smart plan. So I've got my biweekly neighborhood nurture. I'm going to click on there, hit select, and it gives you the option. Do you want to start it now immediately or do you want to start on a future date? I wanted to start immediately. So I'm going to hit confirm. It's confirming that you want to subscribe to a smart plan. You hit confirm. And there you go. So we've added the neighborhoods into the contact and we've added now this contact into a bi-weekly neighborhood where every two weeks they're going to receive an email that will give them active listings and neighborhood statistics of the specific neighborhoods that you have assigned to them.